Hey guys, welcome to Trail & Kale. I'm Helen and in this review I'm reviewing the A6 Cumulus 26. That's these guys right here. In this A6 running shoe review I'm going to be going over the key features of the Cumulus 26, who they're designed for, what kind of running they're for, the things I like about them, the things I feel that could be improved for the next version and ultimately whether they're worth the $140 price tag. If you're not familiar with Trail & Kale yet, we're a website that helps you run your best. Whether that's with our running shoe reviews and running gear reviews like this one, our free training plans or running 101 advice, head over to trailandkale.com to learn more and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews just like this one. Let's go over the key features of the A6 Cumulus 26. So the first thing to note is that A6 is now on version 26 of these shoes and they've released one pretty much every year since first launching them. So that's 26 years ago now. And most runners who loyally stick with the A6 Cumulus series of shoes because they enjoy running in them so much will be pleased to hear that the Cumulus 26 is not significantly different from the Cumulus 25. Um, the most notable difference is a few grams shaved off the weight um, with a slightly redeveloped gel cushioning system um, but you probably won't notice much difference there. So what are these running shoes for? What kind of runner are they for? Well these are ASICs everyday cushioned trainer. This is a daily trainer. This is one that you can wear for basically every run whether you run every day or not any kind of run. If you want one shoe that does it all, then that is exactly what these shoes are designed for. A pair of Asics Cumulus was actually my first pair of running shoes many years ago. And that brings me on to my next point, that if you're new to running and you're looking for just one pair of running shoes, so you've got a proper pair of running shoes to get started on, then the Asics Cumulus are a really great choice for that because they are a great all round daily trainer. And at $140 price tag, they're pretty well priced as well. You're not gonna find a better shoe for less money than that. So how do they fit? Well, these are a neutral running shoe, so they're not, they don't have any extra stability features for people who tend to pronate heavily. They're really for kind of most runners who just kind of got a neutral or slightly under pronating running style. Um, and if you're not sure about that because you're new to running, then it might be worth going to a running store where you can get your gait analyzed. Um, but the vast majority of people are gonna be kind of falling into that neutral category that these shoes are designed for. The drop from heel to toe is eight millimeters. The heel stack's around 38 millimeters. So kind of ha fairly high stack on these shoes, um, but pretty typical for shoes that are marketed as a daily trainer. So you've got a lot of cushioning in that heel area. That cushioning also runs through towards the front of the shoe. So you kind of got it throughout the shoe, regardless of where your feet are landing as you run. In terms of weight, my pair, which is a woman's US 7.5, weighs 7.7 .7 ounces, which is pretty average again for a pair of cushioned neutral running shoes. So how do they fit? Well, straight out the box, they fit true to size. So if you know what your regular shoe size is for a pair of trainers, then stick with your usual size, whether that's your size in other brands such as On, Hoka, Saucony, um, Brooks. Um, if you know what your size is in any of those other brands, for example, then stick with that size in these ASIC shoes and they should fit you just right. Let's take a quick look at some of the features up close. Okay, so in the midsole, you can see Pure Gel and FF Blast Plus. These are ASIC's proprietary cushioning and you can see here um, they are very cushy foam here. So lots of cushioning and support for when you're running. Um, moving up to the upper, let's take a look at that. So this is an engineered mesh upper you can see here. Um, so there's holes for breathability, um, pretty durable mesh I'd say all around the shoe so kind of the same material that you've got in the toe area is the same material that you've got kind of wrapping around the side of the shoe here um so it's a slightly different mesh to the humanist 25 but the same kind of concept here laces have got a bit of stretch to them really easy to do up um so no issues there it's just pretty straightforward it's what we like to see with a pair of everyday trainers you don't want to have to worry about how to getting the laces sorted um and then taking a look around the collar and the heel counter um, it doesn't really kick out here but fits very nicely out the box and um, you know no, no rubbing or anything like that it's very comfortable the tongue is also made of mesh and that's kind of interesting to me you can see there's holes in here for breathability you can see my socks through there as well so the tongue's kind of soft and floppy um, with a bit of stretch to it it's got a loop on it that goes through the laces to keep it up um, which you need because this is a kind of a soft material it's not a very rigid tongue so let's take a quick look at the outsole as well on these shoes. So they're pretty straightforward. Um, it's interesting because it looks like it's made of a very similar foam or rubber um, to the midsole. Um, it's got grooves in here for traction. You can see it's kind of been wet here um, and been running in kind of damp conditions and um, had some pretty good traction on these. Um, so again, kind of a nice design for an everyday neutral trainer that you can just wear for 
running or just going about your business every day. If you're enjoying this review, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. Now you've reached the part of the review where I go over the things I like about these shoes. So A6 Cumulus 26, um, cushioned neutral everyday trainer, like I already said. And that's one of the things I like about it. This shoe knows what it's designed for. It's been around in its various iterations for years. Um, it's very popular with new runners and it's very popular with runners who've been running a long time and buy the new version every year or whenever they need to replace their existing running shoes. So, um, I really like that, you know, in a world where there's almost too much choice to find a pair of running shoes that fit you well, that you enjoy running in. There's really something to be said for that. And so the fact that these shoes haven't changed significantly from the previous version is a really great thing about these shoes. And you know what? I wouldn't really change much about them. Other things I like about these running shoes more specifically, let's revisit that mesh upper. It's really nice. So this upper is very soft very breathable, feels durable. The outsole comes up around your toe, so you haven't got the upper extending too far down there. And then you've also got this mesh in the tongue um, with some stretch, which is really nice, soft design. You've got no issues with some shoes you have where the tongue, you can feel the laces through them. Um, you know, it pushes on the top of your foot. With this one, it's very soft and you don't notice it's there. It's kind of just, mo it's a bit like a sock really. Um, so that's a really nice feature. And like I said, it's got a loop here, so the laces go through it so the tongue doesn't slip down as you're running. I also really like that these shoes fit true to size, so you don't really need to go shopping around trying different sizes. I would not suggest that you size up in your running shoes. Generally, with any running shoes that are true to size, I would not suggest that you size up. In my experience, that actually creates more issues for you, um, particularly as a new runner, if you're not sure what size and how your shoes should fit when you run. Um, so stick with your usual size so you're getting the proper fit. What's not to like about the A6 Cumulus 26? Well, I wouldn't say there's anything not to like about them. They're pretty great all round running shoes and you know, it'd be hard to go wrong if that's what you're looking for. In terms of what's not to like, the question is really, are these the right running shoes for you? Are these the best running shoes for you and where you are with your running journey and your running goals and how you want your running shoes to feel when you're wearing them? Um, so that can include how far you tend to run, how often you tend to run, um, your physique as well, and where you land on your feet. So whether you're kind of landing more on your forefoot or your midfoot, or you really tend to heel strike and you need that extra cushioning in the heel area. So who might these shoes not be for then? So if you're a heavier runner or you're someone who tends to heel strike, or you like to run a long way, you really value having extra cushioning in your running shoes, then you probably need a pair of what we call max cushioning running shoes. Asics has another very long standing pair of running shoes called the A6 Nimbus 26, and that is their max cushion running shoe. The Nimbus 26 has been around again a long time. You can tell they're on version 26 as well as the Cumulus. Um, there's more cushioning in that shoe. So it's a slightly heavier shoe, but that might suit you more if you tend to land quite heavily or you're just running a long way and you want that extra support for those extra miles and the extra time that you're going to be running. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can find that shoe. I've got a video review of that shoe coming very soon. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel as well. So you get notified if you hit the bell, uh, you get notified of our new videos when they come out. And that will include that video that's coming up in the next week or so. Otherwise, if you like to run fast and you like to run fast over shorter distances, then maybe you want a more responsive shoe. So I would say this Cumulus 26, it's pretty responsive for a kind of neutral everyday trainer. But if you're running shorter distances or you just want more responsiveness, you don't mind a firmer feel underfoot, then there are other shoes that offer more of that and they will help you run faster. So you may find those more appealing. I'll put a link in the description below to a couple of those shoes as well for you to go and check out. So wrapping up this review then, are they worth the money? Well. $140, like I said earlier in this review, if you're looking for a daily trainer with some good cushioning that you can wear for basically any run you want, um, whether that's just a few couple of miles around the block or whether that's a, anything up to a marathon distance or be probably better half marathon distance because you might want more cushioning on a marathon, um, then these are a great choice and they've been a great choice for many years for many runners and I don't think you'll go wrong. That said, if you've got any questions about them, drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this A6 Cumulus 26 review. I'll see you on the next one.